darkness surrounds me with all this water around me and I hope the fish will bite before day turns into night Look at this Guys, we're just checking the bobber we're just checking. We're just checking the bobber. We're gonna put on some new. Whoa. We're gonna put on some new. Whoa. We're gonna put on some new bait. We got a fish on here, boys. Come on now, get it out of the weeds. He's in the weeds. said guys we were just checking there just checking the bobber I'm gonna put a I should have looked for it I didn't even look for it I didn't even look for it he's swimming with me he's swimming here there he is he's down there oh this is a nice one this is a nice one this is a good one oh no come on this is a good one. This is a good one. Come on now, get in here. Get in here. It's a good one. It's a nice one. It's a nice one. Don't get on the. Come on now. Come on now. Come up here. Come up here. Yeah. Oh yeah. We got him. We got him. He's a good one. That's a pretty good one. That's a good one, guys. Like I said, we're just checking the checking the bobber. I'm gonna put on some new bait. Whew, gonna put on some new bait, and we find this. Damn, I wasn't even I wasn't even ready for that. That's a pretty good one there. I don't know, maybe 26, 24. 25 incher maybe? I don't know. Holy smokes. Well, let me show you here. Let's show you how you take care of these both ends. I'll show you what you gotta do. Number one, invest in some mouth spreaders. As you know, these things got teeth like there's no tomorrow. Get you some mouse spreaders. They got just needle teeth, these things. I don't know. Because I ain't never been bit by one, but I just got a feeling it would not be pretty. Come on, open up. Open up there. There we go. Open up. Like I said, use your mouse spreaders. Get some mouse spreaders. I've had them. I've had mouse spreaders in the fish, and the fish flopped so violently that he threw the mouse spreaders out of the boat. Get in there with some long needle nose pliers. Some people eat these fish, but I just I just love them. So I want to let him go. So I'm trying not to try not to hurt them too much. There we go. Okay, okay. Boy, this is a nice fish. Look at that. Look at that, boys. Okay, next trick here. I brought this uh, measuring device. I put them up on the top. Boy, I've had them flip off. These bowfins are so wild, man. They are just wild. They do that alligator roll. Nasty fish. I love them, though. Prehistoric looking. All right, let's open this up. See how long this thing is. See what I mean? Look at that. Look at that son of a gun. 
on. Look at that. Look what he just did. Broke, broke a piece out of this. Knocked the mouse spreaders out. Man, this is. I feel like this is a pretty nice one. He seems pretty nice. Doesn't look like he's gonna be that big, but man, he's a fat one. And that long, 25 incher. A 25 incher. I think I'll get a picture holding them too. He's pretty nice. It's a pretty good one. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's a nice fish. Uh, it's a nice fish, guys. Look at that. It's a pretty nice bowfin. That is a pretty good one. We'll let him go. Come on, let's let him go. Grow, grow a little longer. What a beautiful fish. What a beautiful, beautiful fish. There he goes. Oh, he's off. He's off. Time to bait this one back up. And get it back out there. You know what? Here was uh, here's the other bit of that bluegill I cut up earlier. So let's just put that on. Usually, I like to go in through the through the skin side. One of the ends. And have the hook come out through the meat side. Look at that. That's nice right there. Make sure you don't have any scales on there. That's how I really like to have it. If you got just the right sized chunk of meat. So anyway, I was out a little bit further and wasn't getting any bites. Um, the weeds kind of have died, died down now a lot. And and so you know they like to live right in those weed beds along the shore i think they're just sitting in there kind of waiting for um you know maybe dead uh bluegills and you know just bait to drift to them so so i moved in a little closer till i started seeing some weeds in the water i set these bobbers as shallow as i could because it's only a foot or two deep here the rest of the way to shore and I like to just cast it out to the side, let the wind drift the bait to the back and just keep cycling through like that. We've got three poles going today. And yeah, once the one gets back to the back, then I'll reel it in and cast it out to the side and just keep rotating the poles. Um, I'm using kind of my uh, musky poles here, a little bit heavier gear today for these bowfin they'll get down in the weeds a lot of times and you just need a little stiffer pole to you know pull them out of those weeds a lot of times and I've got some heavier line on there about 50 pound line and uh, that's probably a lot of people would consider these to be uh, probably more of a, like a bass Pole, you know, like a heavy bass pole or something for flipping into heavy cover. Uh oh, we just got a takedown, guys. We got a takedown. I don't know if you can see that yellow bobber back there, but uh, something just took that down. So we'll keep an eye on that. There are a lot of turtles here in the summer. I don't know. It's kind of later in the fall now, so I don't know. If they're still around, man, I just seen a fish jump up way over there towards shore. I don't know what that was. I seen one jump up earlier too. That was a pretty oh, that bobber went down again. 
Something's messing with that bait. Boy, that looked like that could be a turtle. Taking it down and popping back up like that. Sometimes your hook will catch on uh, on a weed too, and then on a windy day like this, it can pull the bobber down. But that looked like something was messing with that. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, maybe we're gonna get some good action today. Be nice to catch catch another nice fish, boy. That. That first one, that was that was a pretty good fish. I gotta take down. Finally gotta take down. It's this one. It's this one. It's not running with it. It must be a must be a bowfin. All right, guys, buckle up. Let's see what we can get here. Haven't had much luck for a while. That's tight. That's too tight. That's pretty good. You ready? Are you ready, guys? Are you ready? Let's see if we got a fish here. Let's see if we got a fish. Tighten it up until we feel them. We got it. I don't know what that is. That might not be a bowfin. Whoa, whoa. We got something on here, guys. We got something. We got, I feel the head shakes. I feel the head shakes. I feel the head shakes. Oh, that's a bullfin. That's a bullfin. It looks like a good one. It looks like a good one. It looks like a good one. That's a bullfin. That's a bullfin. Oh, okay. It's a decent one. That's a good one. That is a big one. 
this is a certified big one here. That is a certified. Whoa, this is certifiably a big one, guys. Look at that. This is gonna be, he's gonna be bigger than that other one. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. That's a good one. Let's get his mouth open. Open up there, buddy. Look at that, strong as that is. He's still able to shut his mouth. Oh, look at those teeth, guys. Look at those teeth. Look at those teeth, man. There's the hook right there. Let's get it out. Way bigger than that other one. Way bigger, way bigger. He's gonna be a big one. He's a big one. He's a good one. Oh yeah. Maybe 27. Maybe. Maybe 27. He's gonna be 27, guys. This fish. This is a PR, guys. That's why I'm. Zero. Seven pounds, four ounces. Let's get some picks. guys there you have it master angler michigan master angler all right guys well thanks for joining me out here it's been a nice day good to have you along <laughs>